hello everyone in this video we are going to learn about how to do interpolation in arcmap interpolation means the process of getting a continuous raster surface from discrete vector points first of all we have to connect the folder we have where we have been provided the data i have connected my one and i have been provided with the data of rainfall in Bangladesh here we can see the district shape of Bangladesh I have dragged the rainfall data here and all of these points contain rainfall data how what millimeter of rainfall has been received in several districts of Bangladesh are recorded in the, this weather stations located in several districts we can see that not all the districts contain the weather stations but suppose we want to know the um, surrounding uh, rainfall data of the districts with no weather stations for that we have to perform interpolation and these points on the Bangladesh only have the rainfall data in the process of interpolation we will be able to get the data of rainfall of whole Bangladesh of all the village areas for that first of all we have to uh, create or um, specify our workspace or as where are we working our current workspace and where are we going to um, keep the output files to save the output files i have created a new data geo database new file geo database named output output rainfall where i will um, keep my output data my current workspace is this bmd data i have to search for it from the folder collections folder connections and uh, select the geo database and click to add now for scratch workspace we will give the output rainfall geodatabase that is that's that quite works where we, we will um, keep our um, files we can see that from the layers the rainfall data has the uh, coordinate system of WGS 1984 and we can see that the, the uh, projected coordinate system of Bangladesh is different which is WGS 1984 UTM zone 45 north so the shapefile and the rainfall data points have different projection first of all we have to make them to similar projection for that we have to search the project tool of data management after selecting it, selecting it we will um, input the rainfall data we can see that the coordinate system is WGS 1984 now we will uh, get the output raster save the output rainfall projected rainfall data here we, we are simply going to project the uh, rainfall data as like as the projected coordinate system of Bangladesh for that we have to go to import from here and as we are trying to make it uh, make the projection of rainfall data similar as Bangladesh that's why we have to click on Bangladesh to uh, get the rainfall uh, get the project code projected coordinate system or coordinate system of Bangladesh it will appear here and we will click on that and save as give it okay now our uh, project um, tool is running after some times it will be completed we can see that the uh, rainfall data have been projected and it will be now as similar as the shape file the coordinate system of the shape file we can say that, say, see that both of them are now similar now we have to search for Kriging tool K-R-I-G-I-N-G from the search toolbar this will 
perform our interpolation from special analyst we will click on Kriging and from Kriging we will input the uh, rainfall point uh, vector layer here the projected one simply the z value is automatically uh, have been provided here this is this will be the value which will contain the rainfall data the point values containing the rainfall data will be given in the z uh, z value field this have been automatically uh, appearing here but if it doesn't appear in your um, computer you have to select the field which field has uh, con uh, which field contains the rainfall data from them now i have uh, saved the output in a place naming it interpolation and from the environment we have to select the processing extent as same as layer as bangladesh for that you have to take bangladesh and drag it into table of contents to uh, take or choose this option and from raster analysis we have to select from raster analysis we have to select this mask and we have to select bangladesh to mask the result of interpolation as bangladesh now uh, everything is okay here we are going to click okay to perform our clicking we can see that the process is running after all this there will be a raster layer or image where all the points on Bangladesh map will contain a rainfall data. From properties of this interpolated rainfall raster, we can simply uh, specify the symbology suppose we want to um, visualize the rainfall of Bangladesh in five classes simply from a uh, low rainfall to ver a very low rainfall then low rainfall then medium rainfall high rainfall very high rainfall for that way I have chosen this color for a uh, color ramp and I'm formatting the labels and simply I want to show the values of rainfall here I do I want uh, two deci uh, two digits after point or decimal that's why I have chosen this and clicking OK after clicking OK we can see that this um, the values shows a range here the light color shows the really relatively low rainfall and the um, dark dark blue colors are showing high rainfall from the identify tool we can see that each of the pixels on this raster contain a value pixel value this pixel value is actually representing the rainfall of this locations and uh, we uh, know that not all these points on Bangladesh contained the um, rainfall data only these points contained rainfall data but after um, processing this interpolation we can now get the rainfall data of all the points on Bangladesh okay this this point didn't have any value but now we can get the rainfall data even the surrounding points or anywhere in the map of Bangladesh now suppose you want to show this interpolated map you, you want to make a map for that you have to get uh, from first of all you have to select the data layout view now I'm uh, from insert I'm inserting a title of this map I'm naming it as rainfall Bangladesh now I'm uh, taking the scale bar from here you can choose according to your choice 
I have taken this scale bar and we know that we also have to provide the north arrow in the map I'm giving a north arrow in the map now simply as we want to show the legend here as the light colors are showing low rainfall the uh, darker colors are showing high rainfall to show all this simply I am renaming the values that I want to so show in the legend area this, uh, first of all first uh, first one contains the uh, contained the lower values we saw and the darker colors we can see that these contains higher values that's why I'm naming renaming this as very high after renaming renaming all of this and then I will simply go to legend and click on legend and we want to show the uh, symbology of interpol rain we we have select the uh, for that we have to select that one now simply i'm going to give my legend a title which will show the rainfall level from here we, we can select border 1.5 which is quite visible and clear now our t at, uh, we have finished taking the legend now we can uh, we have to convert it to graphics to edit the our legend and also i have to ungroup it from here we are uh, simply clicking on uh, the uh, mm, part we which we don't need and simply i'm uh, typing delete to delete the parts of the legend which i didn't need now simply we can drag and uh, after all this we can simply export map from file to save this map that we have created as jpg format simply i am uh, saving it in a folder you can save it anywhere you want i am renaming my map as the rainfall as this is showing the rainfall level or in Bangladesh simply you can take more classes I have taken five classes you can take as much as classes you want the more classes you will take the detailed information about uh, rainfall happening in uh, different districts and parts of the country will be more perfectly visible thank you that was all about interpolation